Hi there, it's great to be back with you again. So since the train is already rolling, I just decided to stay on it and we're going to keep rolling. So let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you as we continue looking at the word caricature. Please help us to be able to understand and to apply whatever is shared to um, our, spirit, our experiences in life. Continue to bless each other. Please bless each person who has taken the time to listen to this note. For Christ's sake, amen. You know something? Peer teaching is something that is very critical, you know. Sometimes a teacher cannot get a student to understand something. But the person, their peer sitting next to them, can get them to do it. Because the peer may explain it in a way that makes sense to you. And that's so very true. And it happens in the spiritual realm, even uh, with us as adults. I can learn things from you. And you can learn things from me as we share, reciprocally share the um, from our experiences in life. So we're going to continue right on now. Or I am going to pick up sharing in a letter. It's prayer letter number 25, which is which was written in 2004 or 5. I can't remember which one now. But it is called A Close-Up of God. And um, in this letter, I'm going to be quoting from one of my favorite writers, so I haven't read any of his books for a long time, a guy called Max Lucado. And he brings them to focus this idea of sometimes how people's views of God can become distorted. And I do like his, his metaphor. So he so I go it's in the letter I say, Max Lucado in his book, In the Eye of the Storm, very creatively explores the concept of our image of God changing. I absolutely love how Mr. Lucado explores spiritual slash psychological themes in such a creative, insightful fashion. He says, and I'm quoting from the book now, there is a window in your heart through which you can see God. Once upon a time, that window was clear. Your view of God was crisp. You could see God as vividly as you could see a gentle valley or hillside. The glass was clean. The pain was unbroken. You knew God. You knew how he worked. You knew what he wanted you to do. No surprises. Nothing unexpected. Then suddenly, the window cracked. A pebble broke the window. A pebble of pain. Max continues, well, in the, in the letter I say, Mr. Lucado then outlines a number of situations which could represent the pebble that brought the glass. The pebble could be a diagnosis from the doctor, bad news, a telegram, son is missing in action, desertion by a mate, it's over, I just don't love you anymore. He continues, whatever the pebbles form, the result was the same, a shattered window. And suddenly, God was not easy to see. The view that had been so crisp had changed. You turned to see God and his figure was distorted. It was hard to see him through the pain. It was hard to see him through the fragments of hurt. And then I say, so that's the end of quoting from the letter. Indeed, certain experiences redefine God for some people. As Max says, after your pain, well, God was harder to see. He seemed a bit distant, harder to perceive. Your pain distorted the view. Recognizing that our experiences with God differ, he continues by saying, maybe these words don't describe your situation. There are some people who never have to redefine or refocus their view on of God. Most of us do. Now, what do you think? And so now I'm speaking to my, my readers, in this case, no, my listeners. Now, what do you think of that insight he has given us? I find it very interesting indeed. I'm looking at my time. Um, I find it very interesting. 
Indeed, I wish I could read the entire chapter. He continues to make the point that we all have experiences of God, some of which are in fact unwritten. We all have expectations, sorry, expectations of God, some of which are in fact unreal. If God is God, then such and such will not happen. All right, I'm going to stop there. My time has gone, but I'm going to go on to say, to tell you the deep psychological assessment that he makes. That idea that some people have to redefine their view of God. This is all very interesting. And this is something that we need to understand because as we go through experiences in life, certain things happen to people. Sometimes it causes them to, to back away from God because their view of God then, it becomes like a caricature. God becomes grotesque. It's not the God that they knew. All right, so I'm going to shut up. I am eager to get back with you. I really want you to stay with me. I am sure that you are going to benefit from what I am sharing. It has sure benefited me tremendously. And I'm like the little aunt. If I get something that's good, I'm going to run to share it. God bless you until we meet again in the next note.